And today we're going to be talking about soul farming. Now, it's quite interesting. We're here on Dragon's Peak. And as y'all know that the enemy up there constantly spawns um, a, a, a knight here. And it just goes on and on and on until you kill that person. But what I reverently do is once I get done killing it, I whip out my shield and you get like bonus the amount of souls that you would have. Now I don't know if many people knows about this, but I figure I'll just let it, let it be known, let it get out there that this is one efficient way to do it. Um, instead of uh, having to kill everyone in the area, which I think the best place so far has been um, uh, what place? What was? One second. Check. The one place I know to be most efficient about getting souls are Grand Archives. Literally, nearly if not the perfect place because it's one shot kill for everything and the enemy with the shield drops like up to 3,000, sometimes 2,000 depending on which ones you kill. But this right here, I, it seems it's a constant 6,000 and it would be 4,000 normally without the ring and shield but this is for the ring and both the shields and let me just go ahead and get started with this stop rambling all right so there's a sound there's it goes right when you hear that spawn and then once it gets up All right, and then what about your shield? Six thousand three hundred and thirty-six souls. You get, and he spawns back in reverently fast. It's all depending on how fast you can kill him. So if you have a crit weapon, and you're just doing pretty boss with it. Oh, he wants to be cheeky. I'm going to show you how much you get without both shields. You get only 5,280. So, this is quite interesting to me. Just pop that out. I feel like what would take to kill two two enemies is pretty much half that time with just this one. Because this, by all means, this person is not hard. Saying this person the hardest died to it. Look at that. By all means, and it's really, really. If, really quick like before I started doing this video within five minutes I already had 200,000 souls so I really do believe that this is like the best way if not the perfect way to farm for souls and then whip out that shield And it's just a rinse and repeat. You get the idea. It's really good. If I find any more little cheap ways to do things more efficiently, of course I will let it be known. But yeah. Hope you enjoy this video. And see y'all next time.